And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Whoa, I got a belly full of munchkins. Dude, this is the worst idea ever. We were, song in my heart. We, we were, hi, welcome to the Lost Tapes of the Bonfire, <laughs> Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder, and that kissable, lovable face is Big J Oakers. Come here, Louis. Baby, what do you want to do? You want to put up my mouth? Come here, Louis. Come here, Louis. Come here, Louis. Come here, Joining us as always, Black Lou, White Lou, and Christine Jacob out wrangling drinks or doing something that a producer does. We thought we'd be good hosts and family members and bring a box of 50 munchkins. And I can say honestly, before... There's 10 we, munchkins left. Dude, before we even got in the elevator, you and I had easily knocked out 16 to 20. <laughs> I, I, I didn't eat that many. Well, I did. Uh, I was eating them at a cartoonish Scooby-Doo. I had like five or six, though, total still, like, which is oh, too many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a I'm a bad little boy. I would juggle them and then eat one I'm at a, a time. Fan. Huh? Um, mm. Mm. There he is, there producing he is. drinks. You dreamboat. Thank you so much, man. Um, we watched such a depressing cops today at my house. Dude, I've never been more heart- heartbroken for someone. But like, it's still a f- hilarious, great I mean, story. We laughed very hard, but the it's uh, a bum out. there was a multiple things. There's no way she could find it. Is there a way that Christine could bring it up? Cops, uh, mom dates daughter's boyfriend. Sure, sure. To this sure. girl, this poor girl. I've never seen a girl get arrested on cops. And as we're watching, I'm going like this. No, like the end of Fox and the Hound. You're like her. No, why are you <laughs> doing this? Her Stop life it. sucks. 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 Let me explain what happened to her. Uh, that's not it. No. Um, <clears throat> this this girl gets into a fight with her mom on, on an episode of Cops and gets charged with this. The cops get called for assault because this girl, this 20 year old girl, fights her mom. Cops show up. This girl looks like she is an overweight 13 year old yeah. at a sleepover. Turns out she's 20. She's 20. Her boyfriend dated her and then left her when her mom threatened to call the cops. Because she was underage at the time. Yeah, she was. The mom was going to call the cops and the guy for statutory rape. And then he just started dating the mom. And he goes, "All right, I'll start fucking you." And she said, "Okay," and kicked the daughter out. Kicked now, the daughter out. The daughter's coming back to hang out. Yeah, daughter wants them. to hang out with her mom. A very normal thing. Mom not interested. Nope. Oh, and she says the, when the girl's crying, she goes, "She always picks the boyfriends over me." And you're like, "You are breaking my heart right now." But then, fucking, and I also then, cannot stop laughing at how the boyfriend looks. Yeah. Then Slackjaw comes over to yeah. talk to the cops and give his story. His story is fantastic. He goes, "I got out of jail. I needed a place to stay. They let me stay with them." Two days into that. Uh, mom caught me making out with the daughter. And the cop at this point's like, did you know she was underage? The cop immediately gets real. How old do you think she was? Yeah, he gets real law enforcement. He's like, how old do you think she was? And this dipshit goes, 13, 14. Maybe 14. And the cop's like, God, God damn it, dude. I just gave you the out. Yeah. He was 13, maybe 14. He goes, he goes ah, not a day over seventh grade. What? What did you say? I can't call it. <laughs> I can't call. I don't know. So what? he goes, all right. Huh? And then he goes, so then what happened? He goes, so then she was like going to kick me out. Uh, so you know, so I, I changed my so, tune real quick. So I just started hitting on her, and then uh, started dating her, and then and she can't seem to handle it for some reason. <laughs> and then the daughter's just like, you can tell she's like a thirteen year old. It. She was a thirteen year old pudge ball who just like I feel so bad for. Her. Yeah, she's but, just sympathetic, way, empathetic for. Her. She's she's polite to the police officer. One more she goes, she goes, she fucking hurts me all the time. She's like saying something sad, and she yeah. goes, I'm sorry, I apologize for my language. While they're putting her in cuffs because she has a well, she has a bench warrant for a traffic ticket that she never showed up for so they do you have anything on you she's like you could check she goes you could check me it's fine this, I she literally is wearing almost it looks like a charlie brown shirt yeah she's almost like a female charlie like, it's like yellow and black and she's like she's a schlubby mom, ginger mom, mom yes yeah, really schlubby and she's like my mom likes her boyfriend more than me and they're like well we have to arrest you and you're like what are you guys doing her mom's wearing a tupac shirt no, dude, <laughs> it's awesome i was like jay do you, do you check out the shirt and he was like what i was like she has a fucking tupac shirt. yeah the mom has it by the way everything's white garbage though everything this is this is no what black Jan- people involved in this bad boy and we're watching it and this is mayonnaise garbage oh. like this is pure Lily, miracle vanilla be- french vanilla some would call it whip <laughs> off mother of pearl trash I would cry. Like, uh, I can't watch that. I've been getting is, very sensitive lately. And this yeah, is but, just too much for me. Why? About, did your girlfriend leave you for your dad? Just, just, <laughs> just TV. I'm watching bad TV and, and getting Dude, emotional. You, it really, you know what happens is uh, Vecchio, and he'll be on the show, uh, the, the lady he's seeing watches that that 90-day fiancé, and it's 
fucking heartbreaking because these people are so goddamn desperate they're like this like fat woman in Georgia's like I think this Kenyan guy likes me he's like I met him on Facebook and you're like well it's just all Hail Marys it's just all emotional Hail Marys and you see a girl like this on cops and you're like but you're, I want to bail you out. Oh, yeah, just give, give, give her, her a job life somewhere. Yeah. yeah, just move away from your fucking mom that looks like a '70s wrestler. We had this conversation too when it happened. Do white garbage know they're white garbage? You know, and what I mean? say this no because they always. They, two things. Where's Number the one, thing? there's always someone to shit on. Like especially, I've I've seen some real like real fucking trailer garbage. Well, and when they I just do say, it, yeah, I just want to say that uh, hip hop. I think. Uh, shines light acknowledges like the ghetto of the ghetto like what the ghetto of the it, it seems very self aware hip hop that's born oh, like out, the that's born like, out of, like the you're ghetto. saying black people know that they're in the ghetto and know that it's like, like I think just like, like the, I think the acknowledgement of like the whole like demeanor saying, behavior so are you lifestyle saying, like, white people like white trash like that isn't aware I think these dumb hillbillies go, would laugh at an episode of cops and be like look at these white garbage Lee saying yes. this ain't like us though right yeah absolutely I think you're absolutely right because what they do is they find that's like the base of racism. Like even the the <laughs> poorest whitest person, if you if you like if you tell them that they're better than black people, they're like, "Well, hell yeah!" And they were like, "Oh yeah," oh, they, they just believe they're better than like a black that's where, Harvard like, professor. Yeah, they're that, like, "No orangutan." Like, yeah, that's like, where. I don't that's, know. Yeah, exactly. That's like the basis of how idiotic racism is, where they're like, "I'm white," and you're like, "And that guy is a <laughs> doctor," and he's like, "But he's Arab." I bet like, y'all beat that son bitch wheel yeah. fortune right now. Yeah, right now. Sit Get him down. out of here, professor. Sit you afraid down. of a phrase that? Rhymes? And I only watched the five o'clock. That's from the nineties. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I you like wa- a young fan of white. But there, it's that's like when we watched that uh, documentary, which since then I don't know if you saw that article. That guy flipped and was baptized we by. About it, I think. Yeah, he was baptized by a black preacher in a river. Yeah, the guy that was like, I'll never break bread with a Jew. Still uh, hasn't though. I think. <laughs> really, so hold on to one thing. strong with that. You know what? I'll tell you thing. this. He has his convictions. Just one thing. <laughs> he will not. Yeah, but I would never break bread with a Jew. And that's fine. What? Sorry, you said he got baptized? Yeah, in a river by you a black preacher. He, were you not here? I swear we talked about this on the show. He turned it all around. Were you in Florida? Guy. You might have been in Florida. Yeah, he turned it all around and like he came out in the news. The guy from the documentary. The goofiest that we were, guy. Yeah. I would never break bread oh, with a yeah. Jew. Has since come out. He's joined a church that's predominantly black. Yeah. And went up there and, and gave a really nice testimonial about how he was blown away. That at the end of the church service, uh, not one black person in the church like walked by and still had like a thing that like, they went up and hugged them and said welcome and all. And they were, mm. and he just got, yeah, pretty. So that lady is insane. Or she's like amazing. Yeah, but if you go. I mean, insane in like a, a positive way. She turned that guy's life around. Yeah, and in, now if you go to fucking that cop's family, they'll be like, well, we are upper trailer echelon. <laughs> we keep all our love. I mean, have you been able to find it? And not the cops episode. I'm oh, trying damn. to find the thing on this guy. I'm sure you could find it. Well, well, I was trying to get into our DVR to see it. Well, you, you don't. It's DVR. Yeah, I'm trying to see if we can get like an episode number. It's not coming up. You don't even need an episode number. If you get to the DVR, I'll tell you exactly which one it is. Some bitch. You just know that shit. I do. Well, well anyway, my the... keeps. They're one of my few keeps. Oh yeah. I keep some <laughs> things. I watch cops. This is my home life. I watch cops. I wait for something hilariously worthy to tell Dan, and then I hit the keep button. If it's really, I got to get this to him right now, and Dan will back this up. Ooh, the bike I video. will film the television, yeah. uh, line it up, and then send him the video. It's. I'll tell you this. It's one of the sweetest actions anyone does in my life. Yeah, you're like, you happy. hey, this pile, this bucket of white garbage tried to bite a cop. You want to watch <laughs> it? And I'm like, yeah, I'm traveling right now. I don't even do it. I just send you the video and I go, yeah. trust me, this yeah. is worth one minute of your life. But that one, that was a fucking bummer of a cop's episode because when we left and we're like... <sighs> yeah, it's not, but it's it's ridiculous that people just... And they all signed off. Yeah. Everybody's, everybody's face is shown. Well, the boyfriend was probably like, I look badass. I look like I'm taking down a mom and a daughter. Oh, my stash was coming in good that yeah, week. He goes, my, me on a good day. Day. my name's Apple was popping. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah. the connection to white trash and big, thick Adam's apple? Dude, if you see a protruding Adam's apple, they're either a fucking old-timey school mo- teacher or a fucking white garbage. And ratty hair. Or a European soccer player. A ratty hair and a fucking yeah. big Adam's apple? Oh, just a big old gullet. You see, watch him swallow. Ugh. Sometimes white trash has 
the dudes have gorgeous long hair though oh, sometimes man. it's awful sometimes yeah. it's just like, <laughs> you can't believe it yeah it doesn't seem like it belongs on them you know it's there's nothing more dangerous than a really handsome piece of white trash oh yeah you know what i mean because then sure. it's like that is a wolf in sheep's clothing First of all, you're going to find a wife that is not going to say a word about you beating on her. Because no, she can't believe no. she's 350 pounds and with a guy who's like a buck 60, buck 65. Shredo. Shredded tan. Shredo. Shredded tan and oddly Start piercing. hot white trash. Hot, like like crazy piercing eyes. Oh, man. Yeah, like the, remember that, that criminal guy? The, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, Jesse, yeah. whatever. Je- uh, and then he fucking married a billion. He knocked up a billionaire. Mm-hmm. Fucking, well, look at that guy. Because, you know, white trash, hot women that are white trash, they're a problem, too. No, right, but if you're a good enough looking guy, you could find, like, just a massive animal who will let you live off of her disability or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you gotta That's bring these guys up. look for. They're great. Yeah. White garbage gigolos? Oh, man, I wish Burke Kreischer was here for this part. Yeah, I know. He would love that. He was here on... White trash. He, he grew up in Florida. Oh, yeah, that's where they... It was all about white trash chicken. Those are land sharks, baby. <laughs> those guys are fucking stealing, taking and stealing, moving and grooving. <laughs> Howie moving from Backstreet grooving. Boy? What did you search? Is it hot... White trash, white trash men, trash men with, with ugly, ugly wives? wives? No, that's not what you need to look up. You no. need to look up uh, good-looking honestly... white trash men. Good, Yeah, gorgeous white trash men. I love it when a guy compliments my vibe. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I do too. See, I mean, these aren't good pictures. No, I feel like it keeps pulling up like white trash parties. So I'm. Oh, is that a I'm thing now? Like is that the new? Pim- is that the new pimps and hoes? Remember pimps and hoes parties back in the fucking nineties <laughs> in two thousand at college? They'd be like, "We're doing it," and you're like, "What the fuck are you doing?" No, that's an Arizona thing. Where I'd be like, "That's the dumbest." Did you go ever? No, hell no. Dan, no, I didn't. I wasn't in that scene. Dan, dude, I wouldn't lie to you. Christine would say yes to any party that had something where she had to dress up like an idiot. No. I was always too... I would, costumes were randomly... Were never the thing I was into. Not a chance. One time I ever dressed up as a quote-unquote adult, like 18 or 19, mm-hmm. to go to a Halloween party. And that's my story. I don't, I don't tell us it was a Halloween party. I say that I went to dinner and got dressed up with my ex and I came on my own face. No, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I'm wearing dress pants, and I pulled them down to my knees. Yeah, yeah. Didn't straight from the, the tap, blammo. Fell on my head and came in my own face. Um, <laughs> that part's all legit, yeah. but we weren't out to dinner. We were dressed up like that to go to a Halloween party. What it's were like you a, dressed like as? A mob guy in his mall, like she wore. We just dressed up. Yeah, I uh, I've dressed up twice in college. Once as Kid Rock, which was pretty <laughs> awesome, and then once as Daniel Larusso, the Karate Kid. Did and I went to the gee? bar. Do, yeah, Did you wear gee? a gee? gee and headband. That's great. I went to. Keep... By the way, went to the bar. Cobra Kai showed up. <laughs> really? Swear to God. That's fantastic. I tell you, my famous thing is that I dressed up. Uh, they also had a Daniel Russo, though. And that's when the girl took my sunglasses and put them in a the microwave. Oh yeah, you remember? And then she. I mean, the meanest line ever, where you're like, <laughs> "Can I have my sunglasses?" What did she say? I microwave them, faggot. Oh, <laughs> oh, what a fucking word shot! Just a. She's oh, is this fine. Sexy white trash. I did sexy hillbilly men. And I think I got some actual... Yeah, like the guy, top right, <laughs> no, like top, second right, all the way to... Um, Him? He's, a, he's not a bad right? example. This yeah, all, and that guy. This guy. That guy, like, probably just... No, because that guy's not... That guy has... Bullshit. With the tattoo and shit, he's not a hillbilly, dude. Dude, I mean, I'm telling you right ca- now. His jeans are all I'm calculated. You, yeah, that guy. He looks the kind of guy where he's like, where the fuck were you? And she's like, I'm sorry, Bo. I'm sorry, Bo. And he goes like this, you fucking know. Fucking... <laughs> it's, look at the guy below it, the naked guy. <laughs> this guy? Yeah. <laughs> hey. That's like gay porn. Hey, Gloria. Coming to the back of the shit. Yeah. That's from a film called Redneck Cock. Yeah. I believe that is gay porn. Hey. hey tweet that out. Now, that's <laughs> sex. By the way, I like the one of it. He has two Guitar Hero controllers. <laughs> it's not real guitars. How do you know that? Is that real? It's, it's Guitar Hero controller. Oh, my God. Zoom in on it's that. It's a new Guitar Hero controller and the old one. <laughs> Hell yeah, and he's got guns. By the way, take out the guns. It's me and this guy live a similar life. <laughs> you don't sleep on a futon. I like to s- surrounded by bullets and guitar hero controllers. Dude, that guy is pure sex. <laughs> yeah, like, I- I'm trying to think of a manipulative... I guess, like, Kevin Federline was like that. Like yes, he's a great example of that. Like good-looking white trash that just got in and was like, "Let me get these kids and this money." Mm-hmm. Yeah, got you it. see it on cops all the time. Like a, yeah. a really in good shape guy Dude. who's just 
jack teeth and whatever he's all like hillbillied up but he's like in good shape and everything yeah he's in good shape and everything and then uh he's just with this monster wearing a marvin the martian t-shirt <laughs> yeah i mean kevin federline if britney spears isn't successful and like a major pop, pop pop icon it's a similar story if she would have just stayed in louisiana and kevin federline would have been around she would have just been fat earlier yeah yeah that's it and then just wouldn't have rebounded yeah i think it just came out she tried to she still has to pay him like hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month. That's great. Yeah, look up his fucking alimony, yeah, his alimony yeah, or child support. That's, that's great. That's great. Yeah, and he just just because he's a good dancer can hump the air really well. He goes, it really helps supplement my oxycontin business. He goes, oh yeah, no Roxies are hard to come by these days. <laughs> Hear that? That's Britney Spears, mate, and Kyle. <laughs> I mean, it's so funny. You're like, you really can't pull that girl out of rural Louisiana. Oh, but she so just went. She, she was on the one, top yeah. of the world. Max said, Martin writing her said, songs. Welcome to the Beverly Hills Hotel. What could I get you? He goes. Y'all got ribs. Yeah. What about extra ruffles? sloppy? I like ruffles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> None of that baked shit either. He's requesting to go from twenty thousand a month to sixty thousand a month. Yeah, his lifestyle changed, dude. Uh, he's an older man. He's wiser. <laughs> it hasn't gone through yet. Because he's gotten heavier and needs more space? Because yeah, yeah. she has a Vegas residency, and I think she, she's grossed 137 mil- Oh, no. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she grossed $137 million during the four-year run. So now he wants- What did you do, Jacob? More money. <laughs> Get your money, Kevin Federline, you hot piece of shit. <laughs> he's getting it. <laughs> you fucking hot, sexy piece of garbage. <laughs> oh, my God, you fucking- flaming pile of shit you got oh now she has to look at pictures of him and he is like chubby and shit now yeah. and it's just like oh oh baby baby I mean he got how was I supposed to know JT w- got hottest Britney but then Kevin Federline yeah be, I mean when you really god you fucking flaming pile of shit you got oh uh, now she has to look at pictures of him and he is like chubby and shit now yeah. and it's just like oh Oh, baby, baby. I mean, he got... How was I supposed to know? JT w- got hottest Britney. But then Kevin Federline... Yeah, be, I mean, when you really just get zoom in on her, it looks... I mean, she has like a... I mean, her head looks like a... What's it, Mr. Poopy Pants from... Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> from Rick and Morty? Oh, yeah, yeah, She's yeah. like a pill head. I mean, it's... It's it, that's he's the best case scenario of hot white trash that got out on his dick, right? Yeah. And his dance moves. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, he shreds. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Feds go, but Feds shreds. Yeah, don't forget this guy. Do we have any dancing videos? Please of Kevin find Federline, him please. dancing <laughs> immediately. Because I mean, dude, that's that's the double down of white trash. If you're fucking hot and you can dance. Fuck like a champion with that. Yeah, goddamn right. What's her name? One of the hot. One of the uh, mo- one of the like um. Hot girls from Guy Code dated uh, one of the Step It Up guys, and Chris Stefano was like hanging out with them because they were like because they were all they had the same they both hosted this MTV two show called Off the Bat, mm-hmm. and it was Chris Stefano and uh, Melanie Iglesias, and De Stefano was telling me she was like yeah she's dating like one of the Step It Up guys, and I was like does he just like dance all the time and he's like yo bro. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like, in a real Chris Stefano way, he's like, I was at a party and this guy uh, danced, like, dance off him, was like drunk and was like, let's have a dance. And then the, the guy finally got annoyed and had it. We have to have Chris in to tell the story. Like, the guy, like, dan- had a dance off. At a party? Yeah. Like, it was like, <laughs> is he kid or play? <laughs> no, like, he did like that, like, you know, step it up dancing. Like, uh, <laughs> that's my impression of it. He Just a lot of ass. shoulder movement with my tongue hanging out of my mouth. Some pop lock? <laughs> yeah. we, what do you think now? Could we get that guy and have him challenge Sean Fury in studio? Dude, dance first battle? off, if Sean Fury shows up, I don't want him being challenged. I want him being comforted and gloated upon. He ain't coming in, dude. Dude, he doesn't want to talk to us. Oh, you grabbing a donut? It just looked like it was going to fall off the... Yeah, did it look yeah. like it was going to fall off into your mouth? It, it is getting closer to me. <laughs> yeah, huh? I am going to break down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have a munchkin. So you're talking to a guy that's put away 17 to possibly 21. Dan's hurting from munchkins yeah. right now. I'm munchkin breathing. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to fire out of his asshole like buckshot. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like a potato gun, <laughs> like the pitching machine. Yeah. <laughs> Do potato guns? Did you guys ever have potato guns? When no. I was a kid, do you know what those are? 
Yeah, just, we also didn't have raccoon hats, Dan. Yeah. I'm sorry we grew up around a metropolitan area. All right, I'm sorry I was doo whopping on the steps like you were fucking Frank Stallone. I was in suburbia or bored. You guys never killed a pigeon with a slingshot? He goes, no, what, Dan. Hey, what was your guys' street gang growing up? Were you guys hawks or were you guys you fitting vipers? to go steal bikes? I would love to steal bikes. No, you shut up. Smoking cigarettes behind a circle K is extreme. Okay. You want to take off uh, <laughs> air tube caps off of cars? That was fun. That was fun. There was a summer we did that. Let's not act like we were doing that. Okay? <laughs> and we collected them. Some of us collected them. Guess what? It's wild turkey season. You can huck rocks at them. Okay, first off, there's no wild turkeys in Aurora. I wish you'd just know what you're talking about geographically. You looked every year. Every year. <laughs> every year I go. Every year. Oh, is this him rapping? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Find him doing I don't like... care. Just play it. <laughs> No, I think this is his music. What is this? I do miss the roller baggy. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, yeah, but now it looks like he's all just going through a pill addiction. <laughs> he's like, are you tired? You moving to the couch? They all look like they're just strung out. He's not dancing at all. Dance with a pimp. He's got that the white dude talking black accent on it. Dance with a pimp. Pimp? I'm a pimp. Yo, what's up? It's me, Kevin Federline, girl. Maybe it's not for you to dance with a pimp. Dance with a pimp. I'm white garbage. Dance with a pimp. Pimp? I'm 100% garbage. Dance with a pimp. You all know what it's like now to dance with a pimp. I'm just only going to say pimp like that from now on. Pimp? Pimp? Oh my God, did you guys ever see that documentary? I think it was the Hughes Brothers, American Pimp. Is, is she a is she a hooker? What, is she like an independent, or does she have a pimp? <laughs> yeah, dude, hookers are on the point, or is like uh, pimps up, hose down. There's a video right there. It says K Fed pack practices dancing. Yeah, I I don't know if this is him. The problem is, is a lot. It's a lot of people like that's making fun him. of K Fed. That's, that's not him. Not him. I really, yeah. I really want to see a K Fed dance. I'm trying to like hunt down, <laughs> and then like this, like this isn't him either. You no, know, I guess Jack. He wishes. You know, so dude, being good at dancing is like your identity. Is such a funny thing for a dude to be like, yeah, I'm really good at dancing. <laughs> <laughs> You're like. I bet you're an interesting person, but also I couldn't take you seriously if you're like, my thing is, I'm a pretty good dancer. Oh my God. Can you imagine that conversation moving on from that? <gasps> no, you can't. He goes, what do you do? He goes, comedian. That's cool. He goes, you do some acting? Wow. That's like, oh. what do you do? He goes, I uh, dance. Yeah. You go, like professionally? He goes, well, I'm in between. What the fuck is an in-between jobs dancer? I oh, just got to move Barista? Up. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, I just kind of. Different. My friend Rich, he was at college. He was a freshman. And he was ordered to go to the freshman orientation dance. Oh, yeah. And he was just sitting, trying to bond with everyone, was a stranger. And this guy, he was talking with this guy. And then the music came on. And the guy was said, Dude, if I don't dance, I'm going to die. And he what? just walked off. What? He started just. Left in there dance. What? what? He just walked off to dance. I'm sorry, I'm sorry what? If I don't dance, I'm gonna die. Huh? If I don't dance, I'm he said that die. I go. Ah, oh, you're gonna die after this dance. I should tell you that the funniest that thing in the world is starting dancing. Oh yeah. Starting out of nowhere, dancing is if go what to the movie, go to movie Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf. Go to the Teen Wolf dance scene. It's so, not the big dance he does as the werewolf when he's right. Right. Uh, Teen Wolf dance with Boof. 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 Yeah. But like, I had a friend, Adam, in high school, and he was like good at dancing. And I was always like, man, you're so different than me. Like, not in a bad way. He's just like, no, not this I could never imagine having that much confidence. Just be like, Keep guys, going. Actually, hold that, Christina. Little space. That's it. That is it. Guys, a little space. Can you move? <laughs> guys? Can you why birth this one? Guys, hold on. Back up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so do we really have to move here? He goes, I mean, unless you don't mind getting scissor kicked in the face, I guess. <laughs> you can stay there if you want, because I'm about to bust into it. One arm kick. <laughs> Christine, can you give me my sunglasses? <laughs> Christine, put that video back on. It's it's Keep keep going in it. Fast forward through this. It's like right here, right? No. They go. They make out. She says, I want to dance with just him. So I don't know if they're going to actually have that part of the scene. No. It's after that. Damn you, it's Team right Wolf. That. Damn you, YouTube. Damn you, videos on a radio right, show. Right, Scotty and Booth. Oh, Scotty and Booth. Booth. 
Uh, you want to take our first break? I think her name is Boof. Oh, no, we're still going. Cool. I thought it was... I thought we started at 5 o'clock. Wait, what's that drop? We can take a break in a minute. I just want to see if we get this Boof thing. What is that? You missed it. You missed a lot of drops from yesterday. Here we go. That's it. Right there. This is the best. Open this at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter. This start dance is the most uncomfortable thing I've ever seen. Boof! All right, we gonna do it here. There Everybody, we find there him. we go. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Back it up. Back it up. He goes. He goes. Just find a little space for us right here, and then. All right. I guess we start doing yeah. this thing. Right here, and he goes. And yeah. All right, dance. So we're All right, okay. dance time. Right. Starting dancing is a very awkward thing. No, you know what you gotta do. You gotta be half grooving on your way to the dance. You can't walk yeah. to the dance floor and start dancing. You gotta be moving your fucking shit a little bit, and then when you get there. Stop walking and continue. You gotta launch. You're da- you can't just walk into the fucking middle of a place and go. He goes, We're gonna dance right here, okay? All right, good. And one, and pop, and zip. Over. And, and bang. And now we're in it. And, and, and two, and we're three. Full on and four, dancing. and two, and three. Go. Is she impressed? Here you go. Is there she impressed? Oh, yep. she's and looking at me. I'm looking at And kick it. And two, <laughs> and three. And show them what it's about. Hall and notes. <laughs> Oh, yes. Dance. One boogie time. Don't shake it. Oh, she's looking at me. One, two, one, two. And then this guy wants to fight him for that dance. Oh! Guy tries to show me up in everything. Stay away from Pamela. She's mine. Freak. Stick with your own kind, freak. Like that little tramp. Whoa! Whoa. Dog, you came a boof. <laughs> yeah. Let's remember the better times, though. When he goes, hey, boof. I guess I can go on a dance. Just little old me, little old Scotty. And uh, is this good? This is a good place, any right? Kick it and two, and three, <laughs> one, and four. And two. You can watch her count. <coughs> one, two, one. I can do it over and over again. It's one of my favorite. Dude, me and DeRose used to just do this in our apartment all the time, just walking. <clears throat> and yes. <laughs> and now it's going. Here we go. <laughs> and now we're in it. <laughs> it's the worst dance too. Yeah. Um, let's take our first break. Uh, it's a fun lost tapes here. Damn right it Once is. Once again, never got came in with a plan. So we're going to get to it today. Oh, dude, we'll see what happens with the rest of the Terminator timelines this week. I'm about to eat another munchkin. Dan's going to eat another munchkin. I'm so weak. Uh, we'll be right back. It's the bonfire. Oh, it's weird. I just started dancing. Stay away from Pamela. She's mine. You're mine. Stick with your own kind, freak. This is mean. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Thank God there's a skip forward button on demand so you don't have to listen to our long rejoins. I say to the world, suck a dick. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't mind being in, in the middle of that somewhere. There's some times where I'm like a whole verse where I'm like, are we doing the whole uh, verse? I didn't think you turned on me like I that. Didn't, I didn't turn on you at all. You know what I love if about you? If we get you? past first chorus, we're going to the second chorus. Dan. No, but there's times where we'll go to like the third chorus where I'm like, that's because something's happened, though. That's usually a no, conversation. No, Absolutely. No, no. no, you've sat in songs. We dude. only missed one. you sat in songs, dude. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Hey, I'll play the whole goddamn thing till cool. the outro. Then let's just do that. I have no problem with that. Good. Then I welcome to the new rejoiner. You guys music. are going to get 25 minutes You guys minutes want it? Show. This is what Jay wants. He wants whole songs. We're going to do fucking 15 minutes of talk. <laughs> rejoiner. <laughs> this show's called Re- the, it's called the Rejoiners with Big Joe and yeah. Dan Soder. And sometimes Dan Soder. No, that's... Uh, I get it. Yeah, there's conversations. So Sometimes we pick long songs where I thank God because there's conversations and you're like sometimes I start a song and just go flat out I can't p- stop start talking until they get to that thing right before the last verse yeah this I is don't... Jacob's worst nightmare what I was talking about rejoiner music no not talking about it playing the whole song uh, I mean you can feel Jacob's frantic energy I'm as I said I'm I so, feed off it I'm off the middle yeah you like to drive him I think you drove him to a broken neck yeah, I think he tried to hang himself. And you think that causes fucking spine fusions or whatever <laughs> yeah, the fuck yeah, happens? He goes, he goes, my back's locking into itself because Jay <laughs> won't listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is the greatest drop, and I wasn't even here for it. <laughs> it's the Jacob noise. Any <laughs> pleasure or pain? <laughs> yeah, do the baseball <laughs> bat into that. Can you do the ball shot into Jacob? Yeah. <laughs> Can you do it like? Ping, yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's close. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think actually you should play the man first, then the sound. It oh, sounds so like he's he getting goes, nervous. He goes, I, I go, you want I go, you want this, Jacob? <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Is this what you want, you dirty little boy? You want me to smash your nuts? <laughs> Just like that. Oh, give me, give me, give me a, give me a back big, on the same page. Just like that, everybody. Let me wind up real quick. Hold on. Is this what you want? You Choke up, you dirty, dirty little boy. <laughs> no, no, you gotta give me a second before the hit. Yeah, you gotta let me wind up first. Here I go. You're just a dirty little mouse, aren't you? You want me to smash your nuts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh there, yeah. Let me do that one. Yeah, I go. Jesus, stupid Jacob. I'm gonna smash your balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting there. We, I just said that this J, new J, Jacob just walked in the studio. This new Jacob drops the best thing ever because it's pleasure or pain. We just did a new thing, Jacob. Welcome to the studio, by the way. We played two straight songs since they won't let us DJ here live. Yeah. We just played two straight we songs. We even actually through. made up call letters, too, and then we cursed a lot in between the songs so they wouldn't play it. We came back on and we introduced the show, and then I was like, actually, you know what? There's another song on that soundtrack I love, and play that, and then we kicked it a little bit longer. And it was good. I caught up on some emails. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I took a nap. <laughs> they we did, out, checked out. We did Tool into Rooster. Rooster's six minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> we did Freebird into... Uh, Stairway to Heaven. Uh, what's the... Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Rapper's, uh, Delight. Yeah, Rapper's we did Delight. Rapper's Delight. Rapper's Delight and the Freebird. Both live. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's <laughs> pretty nice. connoisseur. Yeah. We said we're going to open... Uh, we're going to come back. Today, all the rejoins are going to be fish albums. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys really going to like it when it hits a minute 35? <laughs> we didn't hear the vacuum start wow. rolling, man. You know what's funny, man, is we've shit on fish, and sometimes people are like, hey, cool news, this guy's a fish fan. And we're like, that's not a good thing. <laughs> Why do people tell us like it's a good thing? They're like, oh, got a friend usually, coming in. Usually makes decent people. What, fish fans? We like our fish fans. Fans. Oh, I think fish fans are great, but we've mocked fish. Oh, the music of fish is just repulsive. It's bored white people music. I can't say how many years living with Mike and spending time with Mike and being in cars with Mike uh, exposed to fish music. And he hasn't laid a ton on me, which Listen. is very cool of him, but he hasn't been able to find one that's caught me even where I go, all right, damn it, that riff is like something. And there's... There's Brahms symphonies that I like because they just sound good. I would kill to have listened to that much fish because when I was in college, I lived. I told you that guy that like string cheese incident. <laughs> Dude, the funniest thing I've ever seen. Which in my is life. like shit fish. Sh yeah, it's shit exactly. Fish. It is shit fish. They, Lou got all fired up. Uh, my other roommate, Mark. Was, you met Mark. He came in and like watched the show. In college, he was a power lifter, mm -hmm. so you know all about that world. Sure, yeah. Dude, his entire room was just... Sniffing fucking uh, ammonia to get themselves oh, jacked. He had one of those denim bench press shirts that I'd have to push him in. They blast open. They do blast open. You used to open. put him in it. Yeah, I'd go to Gold's baby Gym powder. with him. I'd go to Gold's yeah, Gym and fucking... You baby powder him up? Yeah, and then like, grab one side and pull it on. Grab passed the out side. one of those. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, all, every fat and <laughs> organ in my body squeezed into my belly. Yeah. And I just looked like it was so weird. I was like Patrick the starfish. Yeah. And then I just went. I went out. And when I just you woke up, they was choking myself with the shirt. When you woke up, on. was the shirt still on? Yeah. That's crazy. They were trying. My stepfather and this gigantic <laughs> dude named I want to say Mike was his name. Yeah. Uh, huge. Used to get roids from him. That's pretty awesome. He was huge. I think he became a cop. Lyle Alzado roids too. Those were. Back yeah. in the day before they're uncut. Oh yeah, this is horse shit I was taking. <laughs> yeah. Equipoise. Wait, you were? Yeah. You did. You did uh, juice. Oh, great. I How did I ever talked know? About that. How have we never talked about the? It fact was so that... short lived, dude. You're the boss now. It was so. You're it was so short lived. I'm gonna start it calling awesome. you the Oaks. It was awesome. Did you get jacked? Um, no, didn't have enough time to get jacked, but I was losing weight rapidly. Yeah. I was getting strong as shit. Yeah. I was weightlifting a lot then. You were this healing. Was like teenage years. Did you want to do some and I didn't know. Here's the thing. Right, almost right away, though, like less than a month in, uh, I was fucking my girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, Nicole. And yeah. My, PS2. My, uh, no, no, no. That's Cheryl. Cheryl. Sorry. Nicole. Nicole. Guys, uh, heroin. and went right before heroin Nicole. Yeah. Heroin Nicole. So sorry. I got Nod Nicole when I was gonna come Nod Nicole. <laughs> you gotta fucking get the right nickname. Place <laughs> Nod out Nicole. Yeah, Nod out Nicole. It was PlayStation Cheryl and Nod out Nicole. Dude, I had it one time. We have to have Metzger come in. I got fly by Genie. You know, if we that's get, who fucking we got have to bring me. Metzger in here like King Kong. We have to strap him. We have to chain strap him to a <laughs> sort of a pallet. I go wake him up, pull the hood off him. <laughs> oh, thank you. But you gotta let Kurt just go on some rant about my two girlfriends I had in the early stages of our friendship yeah and Kurt just knowing who Kurt is and who he was even then what he was holding back from saying about these two girls would be just fantastic but you were saying you're fucking nodding fucking Nicole nodding Nicole and right before I was gonna come I swear I've told this before I'd get like a like a ping 
in the back of my head. It was almost like someone like struck a bass chord in my neck, Boom. and I couldn't like I'd go white with pain, like migraine headache that would like I couldn't see. It was like blinding. Jesus. And uh, and then it would go away in like fifteen minutes, and then I'd just be like. Oh, this isn't going to happen next. It's so funny when that happens to you at seventeen. My first thought wasn't to go to the hospital. I go, that was weird. Yeah, Ugh. I go maybe I, I go maybe I need a, a fucking not diet soda or something. Yeah, <laughs> like, dude, I maybe McDonald's will help this. That's I didn't even think about opposite. where now if, if that happened. Yeah. Uh, when I was fucking, I'd be like, I have to go. Like, I, I do have to go to the hospital. That's maybe not right then. There, if it went away, I might not go at that moment. But I would be like, I have a real problem. Like, I'm going to go to the doctor to find out I'm having like you know an aneurysm or something. Yeah, you're 17. But 17, you don't give a shit. I would have. That's what I was trying to say. Is we are very differently wired. I would have immediately been like, call a specialist. <laughs> that young. What well, I became a hypochondriac when my sister got killed, almost instantaneously. And how old were you? 16. And that was a car accident. Yeah, but That's immediately I was like, though, I was like, people die, people die, because that was the last conversation I had with my sister. She's like, people die. It was so morbid. It did. And then, right, then you like, said, yeah. But immediately sick. But also at the time, this is how big of an idiot I am. I was a hypochondriac. Also picked up full time smoking. <laughs> so like, I'm worried about dying, but I'm ripping camel lights. But you still I'm somehow stop when I'm dead. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Jacob. All right. Let's Even if you were nervous about that, there's still an element of you that just feels invincible. Because you're uh, still a teen. You know There's what so was? many phases of life you, you know, you're looking Let me tell you the difference, because I, I know exactly what you're talking about. There was a difference between feeling the, the invincibility I felt was like if I got hurt, like if I got cut or something like happened like that, mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh, fuck, I'm like, this is fine. This is nothing. This does, I'll, I'll heal up in no time. Yeah. It was like the serious shit. Like that to me would have been a serious thing. Like f like if I would have gone white white with pain in the back of my neck, I'd be yeah. like, I'm dying. Uh, fuck, there's, a, there's an aneurysm. It's a fucking clot. There's something. Yeah. I would have freaked out because that's just kind of the shift that happened to me. But if you cut my fucking arm open, I'd be like, I don't need stitches. Whatever. Just fucking hold the show with a band-aid. It'll heal. You get all cure-like where you're like, you can see the bone. Oh, uh, you want me to touch it? Oh, it hurts. I'm touching my soul, actually. Uh, you want to see my soul come out? The soul is below the second layer of dermis but no you fucking you fucking and having that would have been like i would have flipped out well i did eventually yeah by like the third or fourth time it happened what, really like, every yeah, time yeah. you fucked yeah so it was when you guys were fucking it would happen yeah always only? same way only like not even like during deadlifts <laughs> like i'm trying nope. to think of a, like a fucking power <laughs> cleans it's because it's Clean a fuck jerks. motion Something about that thing, like the getting ready to cut, like right before I came. Oh, it was bummer! So bad, but I did go to the doctor eventually, and he was like, "Are you using any drugs of any kind?" And I was a teenager, so I was not. <laughs> Do you have the bandana on, like Lala? I was like, I oh. wouldn't. No, <laughs> I was <laughs> like, balding. <laughs> my back's balding. covered in acne. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, with, without exaggeration, Are you using anabolic steroids. I no? did so ch such a little amount, and for yeah. such a short amount of time. But in that short amount of time, I was feeling like just results, small results that just felt I mean, good overall. Here's how I know because I took precursors. You know, you're supposed to take steroid precursors mm -hmm. into the, if you want to do them. Yeah. Sky Greg that I went to high school with was on steroids, and he's like, if you want to do it. Like, let me know. I'll give you precursors to see. You you can see kind of how it's going to feel a little bit. Yeah. But they would, they, you know, they're not. It's, you don't inject. You just take these sure. like blue pills. But you do, immediately, I was like, I fucking want to exercise. If that didn't happen to me, I would have never stopped taking them. Really? Especially in the way I was taking. Dude, the way we discussed taking them was all about. Like the fountain of you, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Like I mean, like people still do youth. that with, and it wasn't for. I, I was doing it for obviously other like weight loss, strength gain reasons. Yeah, some sexy ass, I motherfucker. Thought, but who I was doing it with was like, was like, but it was, it was. I was taking the same amount as him. This very small amount to just like, basically for him, it kept his testosterone as if he wasn't in his forties. Yeah. And it kept, uh, and it was boosting mine from a seventeen year old. Which up. seventeen? You're running so, hot. Sure. Yeah, without a doubt. But. uh I agree with him. He uh, he doesn't take him anymore either, and he stopped pretty quickly after too. But like it was a uh, on that short run. Like if it if it didn't hurt me like that, I would have never stopped. It. I, have I don't a, know if it's an irresponsible message, but I, I guess they can kill you. No, but say. I have I have a theory that like like very very wealthy people like have like Elon Musk or mm -hmm. whatever. Like they have access to stuff where they're like this this won't hurt you. Even I would love to. We have a friend of ours that takes some steroids and I'd love to talk to him about it. Like is it? Yeah, like he still does. I don't know who. I could tell you all. I don't want to say yeah, it Yeah, tell air. me off there. But he talks about it and he's like, no, His it's name rhymes with great. Kane Duke? Yeah, it's Ron Vecchio. Ah, <laughs> no, Mike doesn't. Mike's all natural, baby. Oh yeah. He's Bruno San Martino. <laughs> he is fucking jacked through being Italian. 
But there oh, was my, and by the way, no, this no. is not an accusation, but I keep seeing uh, uh, Godfrey here in the halls on these hot days with his big jack muscles. And if he's not, then <laughs> he's big kissable a, muscles. <laughs> if he's not using something, he's uh, he's a freak of fucking nature. I mean, he looks unbelievable. If someone, could, I think Godfrey's like fifty or so, or, or close to. If someone was like, "Here's the perfect amount of HGH, no side effects," you know, I would do it. I'd do it all fucking day. Are you kidding me? I'd say the side effects are worth any of it. Just get all fucking. It's not about getting jacked. <laughs> you know, it no won't make shreds, you jacked. Though. If that's not your thing, if working out's not your thing with it, it's not going to like get you jacked or anything. But that's my favorite. That's why I was, that was my argument with the sports. With it's like it's not like Barry Bonds. It's not fucking Drago. Like you said, he didn't inject him mm -hmm. before he goes to the plate and then he cracks a home run. It, no, it, it was, just made him able to work out more. It all, no, but he still worked out more and heal. Yeah, like that was the thing. It was all about healing and it, and. Um, I mean, I'm a Giants fan. I defended Barry Bonds. <laughs> I was in the thick of it, where people are like, he's on steroids, and I knew he was, and I was like, he's never been tested positive. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I thought it would been like, so what? No, I mean, eventually I got to so what, but there was a time where I was like, like, 02, 03, where I was like, well, that's your opinion. He hasn't been positive for it, and the Balco scandal's probably going to go away. <laughs> Back to powerlifting, uh, the whole reason we got this conversation because I lived with a guy that had... Uh, that, like listened to a lot of string cheese incident and my buddy Mark was powerlifting and his room was only a desk, a bed, a scale, <laughs> and a poster of a power lifter. Oh jeez. He had like a shaved head. He was in like two seventy, just fucking going hard. I think he was shooting roids and he was just massive. And he would do two workouts a day and he came home from his morning workout and then like Matt, our roommate downstairs, was just like smoking resin, <laughs> listening to like string cheese, and it's like bah, bah, bah. it's like this, and it's like and he's got it, and he's the room under Mark. And I'm playing PlayStation in the living room, and you just hear him go, you just hear Mark upstairs go, turn that fucking <laughs> garbage off. And I was like, dude, string cheese is about to get this kid fucking killed. Because they weren't friends. No. I was the connection piece between those two. That's hilarious. Because Matt was just like this cool dude I smoked weed with freshman year. I mean, you know, cool is a loose term. He was, he was fun. Uh, but we got high. Groovy. And he was like a good fourth roommate. It was me, you know. And But there was a divide between him and the other roommate and me and Mark. Because Mark was like a pit bull that I had to keep on a leash. Your head's going to spin when you have no roommate. I've, I did it for one year. How he many did. times, how long have you lived alone? I've never lived on never, my own. Never, uh, I'll tell you this. On my own, ever. It is great. I love Mike Vecchione, yeah. but living by yourself, I did it for one year in Tucson, and it was fucking incredible. Yeah, I bet. Because you don't, you lose all of the angry at someone else energy, no matter how much you love a roommate. If mm -hmm. there's a plate in the kitchen, you're like, all right, well, I guess I'm cleaning that. <laughs> just removes all that, because you see, you go, that's, yeah. my, that's my plate for Mr. Yeah. And then you're just like, and you just come home. I don't care who you are and how much you love your roommate. There will always be a moment where you put your key in the front door and you hear your TV going and you know someone else, and you're like, all right. You open it and you're like, hey. Vecchione is my brother. I love him to death. I like, I, you know, probably if I ever get married, he'll be my best man. Like, that's how much I love Mike Vecchione. Yesterday I came home and the TV was on and I was like, I'll be there. I'll bring a nice gift though. <laughs> you know what I love about you? You can never be happy for someone else. You can't be happy for someone else. That was you cool, dude. I'm not gonna chins because you chose Mike over me. Mike I, was I'll just his give, best I'll man. give you. Mike was his best man. So what are you so mad about? I barely knew you. I I wasn't even at the wedding. <laughs> so thanks, thanks for getting married without me, Jay. Real I didn't cool. know you. Would that happen now? Yeah, I'd marry you was... before I married anybody. Hey, you, you don't go Let's go down that road. I'll fucking do that right now. You think I won't get gay married to you? Dude, I'll gay marry you right now. I'll, I'll gay marry you. Hey, I'll do it right on the show. Dude, we're in an open relationship? Shit. Dude, we, Let me get divorced, man. I'm okay. going to marry the shit out of you. Oh, man. I'll oh. do it on the show. I'll tell you this. I'll have Sal do it for us right here. Can I, tell you, can I tell you a real problem we might have? What? No, Vecchio. I, no. Vecchio. <laughs> I think Vecchio would legitimately, if I was like, hey, I'm marrying Jay on the show, he'd be like this. <laughs> What? <laughs> you do the Chris Farley. <laughs> We've been doing what? it. Yeah, Shane was doing that all week at Helium too. He goes, what? <laughs> From the, yeah. If I was like, Vecchi on a marrying Jay, he'd be like, I need you to, I need you to leave. No, he'd be understanding. Can we do a polygamy thing? No. 
No? That's illegal. Can we go to Utah and get No, no, I don't want to do this as a joke. I'll marry you. I want to link our finances. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I want you to take my last name. I have to tell all the clubs to change it to Dan Okerson. (laughs) (laughs) With Big J and Dan Okerson. It's a bonfire Big J and Dan Okerson. (laughs) Uh, And then we just have like really angry marital conversations (laughs) half the time where I go, well, if somebody remembered my mother's birthday, we wouldn't be here right now. Dude, let's do HG and marry each other. Dude, let's do it. <laughs> let's go full throttle. <laughs> we we fucking never die, man. Like oh, vampires. Dude, we'll be the Jack <laughs> gay vampires. on Comedy Central. <laughs> oh, dude, then they can't those fucking jacked homos on the... They can't take our show away because, you know, we're no longer white men. <laughs> That's it. We're gay. Oh, we're in. Jack dudes. Likes Flynn. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. dude! Our wedding? How fun would our wedding? I mean, you, you, and you would still bang Jay at the wedding night, you know? Fine. I, <laughs> I, I get forever a side bitch. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, uh, I, I wouldn't do that to you. This song on the floor. Oh, dude, this would be our first song. <laughs> Sylvester. <laughs> oh, what a fun gay wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to spend your life with me? Who's your best man, Fenoya? Huh? Who, who would be? Vecchio's my best man. It'd still be you. <laughs> I, hate you. I hate you, you big baby. I hate you. Avi, you are one of those things where you're half, you're, uh, yeah. you're half best man, half bride. Where you turn around, I turn and then I go, I do, and then I go, I hand you the ring, and you turn around, you go, you got this, man. I, I rub your shoulder from behind. I go, dude, this is huge. And I turn and I was like, this is special to me. <laughs> yeah. Get it. In the ultimate Dan Soder wedding, you get to play multiple characters. I mean, that's I've always wanted to clump my own wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted a fucking nutty professor my own fucking special day. <laughs> clump. Let's clump this wedding. <laughs> Dan's mom's in the corner. It's still Dan. It's me. Oh, away. my boy. I'm so happy for I him. Go, drinks, 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 <laughs> drinks and dogs, drinks and dogs. That's, that's my shorthand impression. Then you run over and you be the Gary ghost like uh, the Jedi's oh, at right. the Ewok party. I, I just like, nod. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you got, he's holding the fucking uh, cores and pointing at you. You know what my Trish impression was when I was in high school? It was Will Ferrell's Janet Reno. Really? Yeah, because my mom cause has kind of a dark, a deep voice. So when my mom would fucking scream at me and I'd go out in the garage with my friends, my mom was all like, Hey, Dan, I don't like your grades. Play that song I like. <laughs> <laughs> you want to meet Thunder and Lightning? Yeah, if I fight so dirty, why is my conscience so clean? <laughs> that's, that's what he says when he punches Giuliani in the dick. Um, yeah. Um, um, should we take our next break and then come back and ride this bitch time? out? Is, is it break out? What time will we start? Uh, this is why smoking pot before the show's bad because I looked and I thought we started at four. I was like, we've done 35 no, minutes. we didn't start at four. We've done 17 minutes. Oh, that's it? <laughs> that's another bad part of smoking pot. Here's Janet Reno's dance party. I yeah. Janet Reno's dance party. R.I.P. Uh, Don Pardo. Welcome to Janet Reno's Dance Party, coming to you live from my basement. Say, I really like dancing to that song. I want to dance to it again. Yeah, that was just my impression of my mom in high school. We go, hey, Dan, do your homework. Hey, that's enough dancing. Play that song well, I like. Now it's time to- Someone was. I was talking to someone today about how my mom let me smoke weed at home, and they're like, oh, your mom was a cool mom? I was like, not really. Just kinda, I, never, I never read was a cool mom to me. No, my mom Some was. People do. My mom was just kind of like, eh, all right, I don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah. And then I, I walk out and be like, I don't want you to get in trouble. Play that song I like. <laughs> Play that song I like. <laughs> yeah, I was, that was the. I, I hung at those houses a lot, but I did acknowledge that it was the weird house of probably the kids that were going to become criminals and shit. Well, where your it was like, like, I'd rather you. I'd rather you. Yeah, but you, you, know, you obviously didn't. And there's like, sure exceptions. I'm um, sure exceptions to that. Maybe the exception is that they become off to become criminals, but yeah. in my experience, Probably could have gone those households were always just like a kid where you were like, this is going to be a pretty average down the middle, probably to the left of the middle dude. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't know what the house where everyone was allowed to smoke and drink and smoke pot. Those kids weren't like, all right, guys, it's like, I got to wrap it up really nice because let's finish that. We'll do one more rip of the bong each and then I got to go study for the LSATs. That's funny, man, because I almost had like a bartender <laughs> attitude towards it. Like all my friends were there and I was like, hey, you guys want to stick around? What do you guys want? One more beer? We're going to hang out? Because I didn't really start drinking until my senior year of high school. Because yeah. before that, I just didn't like it. And then I, I liked smoking weed 
way more than drinking. Yeah. Because it was to me like no hangover. It was, it's, you know, it's appropriate that I've quit drinking and only smoke pot now because that's kind of how I was in high school. And I it was like, I w I'd rather go to a friend's house. I would rather back like, to your high school glory. No, there's no glory. Uh, but it was one of those things where I, like now, if after a comedy show, if you're like, hey, do you want to smoke weed and go play video games? Or do you want to go to a bar with a bunch of people? Always, it's like, yeah, I'd rather go play video games. That's how I was in high school. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, you got a PlayStation 2? Let's fucking do it. Let's that's, play FIFA. That's never not been my <laughs> my answer to that. When I drank, it wasn't. When I drank, I used to be like, let's fucking like go. Bars. Let's, but it, to drink, not to like go out. There's people that like to go out and like be seen and fucking do that shit. I would like to sit at a bar and get fucked up. Well, why not go home and do that? I don't know. There's something. Like if you're like, you want to go home and play video games and smoke pot? That was fun because the pot, because when you get drunk, you start fucking up on the video games and you're like, oh, it's fucking, you just want to be social. You're more social when you're drunk. Stupid fucking. I don't know. Zelda just is a fucking asshole. <laughs> I don't like the way it walks. It's a stupid sword. I got the fucking blue shield. Hey, Castlevania. I got the fucking blue shield. What's your problem with vampires, Castlevania? <laughs> um, but then when I'm smoking weed, it's the shit. Because you're like, I want to keep playing this video game and eat cereal. It's just a way better life to live. But in high school, I was like that. You've reverted all back to high school. Fuck yeah, dude. You eat. I live in Trisha's garage. <laughs> you eat Golden Grams. Did it last night? Games. Yep. You're talking to you get cereal last night? Yeah. I watched you try to make a conscious, healthy decision last night. You've been. It's been. And by the way, yeah, you tried me. You watched. Then the munchkins happened. And I ate half a box of munchkins. Right. And then I thought, I was just I thought after that you went on a... I had a bad day all around yesterday, too. No, then I went got, that, I had, like, candy again last night and shit. Well, I, had, I had golden grams. Um, Mike, his lady friend, and I watched 90 Day Fiance just to watch the dickhead Dutch guy. Yeah. Are you watching that? Love that dickhead Dutch guy. He's such a dickhead. He mispronounces certain words, too. And he always goes like this. Are you are interrupting me. Stop yeah. talking to me. Uh, Darcy and what's his name? Oh, I forget. This guy's like a fucking diehard villain. And he's just like, you're interrupting me. You're stupid. And he wears like shirts with rips in them. I'm obsessed with the guy. When he comes back on, I have a, like he's a, a fiance. Yeah, I have like a wrestling pop. Like he goes, I'm like, yeah! Here comes this Dutch asshole. Because, I mean, Lou, Lou legitimately watched me get angry about Dutch people in Holland where I'm like, these passive aggressive assholes. Yeah. I was going zero to 60. Yeah, that's him. What, what's his name? It's Dossie and, yeah. Dossie. Is this a clip? Yeah. Dude, this guy is so mean to her. He's, she's like, do you want to meet? That was the guy on the drive of the airport that he's like, you don't know what, you don't know what this is? And she's like, I don't know. And he's like, you're an idiot. And, you're like, and she sucks. She sucks just as bad. It's really hard to like and anybody. And they're going to get married? Yeah, there it is. Here they are. You can figure it out. They're going to get married, right? Yeah. We have to fight for our love, I feel. I feel like no matter all that crap, we can He looks like when Kiefer thing. Sutherland turned into a vampire yeah. in The Lost Boys. How fucking... He looks exactly <laughs> like he a vampire. He looks like vampire. Vampire Kiefer. Not Kiefer Sutherland in the movie. No, I know. When he turns. Vampire Kiefer Sutherland. Like when he's Sutherland. eating the bowl of worms. No, 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 no. When he actually turned into a vampire. When At he, the end? Yeah, at the end or when they pop. He only turns twice. Is it when in the he's tree? Sleeping? No, there's one in the tree when they're all in the tree before they kill all the people on the beach. Yeah. At the bonfire. There is. <laughs> yeah, he looks like Vampire Keeper Sutherland. <laughs> eh, it doesn't strike me as hard when I see him next to each other. <laughs> Maybe just what it looks like Keeper Sutherland. He just kind of looks. Um, <laughs> yeah, this guy's. In the forehead. If you go back a few seconds, it's dead on. Thank you, Jacob. Please save this for me. Back that up. Dude, you know, so funny. Not there. That's her forehead. It'd be great if no one saw it. He just handed Jacob a ten dollar bill. <laughs> there was never forehead in that shot. You know, it was all his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Play the clip. <laughs> you a lot of crap you created yourself. You know. And haven't I been proactive? Like you have. You have not. You know, done that social media anymore. Which she tells her to stay off social media. Yeah, no. but it's not something I because, need to stay but off but it's of. it's not it's like because when, when next week we have an argument that you go off on social media I again. just want to get you know? my outlet to have a voice. He holds her very, like, weird. Dude, there's some, like... It, it, the watching hand around this, the hand around the shoulder. And Lou, you're watching the show. Yeah, he's 23. She's 42. I guess I bet the sex is crazy. Good. It's got to be crazy good. Yeah. Where he's just like, you are a little piggy, and I will pee on you. And she's like, yeah. Is that what you want? I deserve it. Oh, look at my big dumb lips. Oh, you're <laughs> so hot. 
take a hot whiz on my tits. Yeah, oh, yeah, whiz on my tits. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, you are Put super. Put a hot whiz on him. He goes, I'm going to fold back my foreskin and just pee all over you. <laughs> pee all over you. Yeah, wipe it across my fucking stash. Yeah, I'm stupid, bro. <laughs> my mean, stupid Connecticut's awesome. Yeah. We broke up. So she posted on Facebook. She so over stated it. that she was over it, and uh, I could now I can fuck all the other bitches. bitches. I could fuck uh, other bitches. So that cost. The the shirt's a little tight in the tits. Dude, no, he goes tight. <laughs> he goes tight in the tits all the time. He's always dressed like he's about to strip. Is he jacked? Time, he, in that kind of way, he's got like you know. Like, oh, okay. So, but from this angle, it looks like. It's tight in the tits. Looks like he has little tits. He's little got, tits. He's got good tits. Good tits. But see what I mean? He's always dressed like at any moment. It could be like, booch, booch, booch. and he's like, do you want to do sexy? <laughs> yeah. Very handsome. I mean, the guy is a fucking D-bag. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know. That's why I keep watching it. That haircut Mike's, doesn't come with an awesome dude. Mike's, Mike's lady friend put it on, and I was like, what are we watching? What is this? This is stupid. And uh, then like five minutes in, I was like, I think I'm going to be addicted to the show. <laughs> I'm going to have a problem. It here. really is, man. It's like reality TV somehow found a way to do the heroin recipe. Where they're like, you want one bump? And you're like, yeah, this seems stupid. But you know what? My friends are doing it. Let me do a little. And Every like, show's like that. Although, 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 like I many, Shore, although I haven't been able to catch you into any of the ones I like. Because you know why? I don't go. It's not at home. It's not like on my DVR. If it was on my DVR, I'd fucking watch it. That's what happened with this. She put it on her DVR, and then I'm like, no, I'm going to fucking 90 Day Fiance. So anyway, and then if Vecchione and his lady friend are there. What behavior of a 90 day fiance, by the way, to come in and start putting things on yeah. your you boyfriend and his roommate's DVR? Can I tell you something? I'd have a little talk about that. Talk about plates. Oh, can you in get, can you get dramatic? Plates in the sink. I'm like, dude, is your broad fucking. Because you know Mike don't know how to do it. Can you, yeah, can you do. What's well, a bound over step? I don't you, like it. Can you do Family dr- meeting. Can you do dramatic um, reality TV? confrontation music yeah I, just I, let, I mean you let his chick just run your fucking DVR but honest no. to God enjoy him as your best man oh God the only way out of this is if I uh, say Big J can be my best man oh I can be no oh you allow you're me not. that no now you've got dropped off <laughs> now you're not even a groomsman oh darn now you're an usher, <laughs> you're an usher. you have to walk my nana down the goddamn aisle I, I go you wanna valet this <laughs> son of a bitch you wanna keep dancing I'm I'll, have park. You, I'll have you park a fucking car I'm gonna have you fucking lining up Altima's outside of the church. I go, hi. I go, Mike, um, can I talk to you in the kitchen? Your lady friend programmed a television show on the DVR, and I don't feel comfortable with it. <laughs> then I asked the cut to me doing the interview, and I go, I'm really, um, I'm really happy I stood up to Mike, and I kind of said my feelings. You know, if he chooses her over me, well, then that's just the way it's going to have to be. <laughs> but you touch a man's DVR? Dun, 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 dun. Can, I, can I can I be honest with you guys? I DVR'd it. You try to pass blame? Yeah, I'm that's sorry. a bad person. What? It's a bad person. I just admit it. Right there. You know what? Don't. By the way, take take Mike back. You know, he's your best man. I don't want to be a part of that unholy union. Whatever the fuck you're gonna create up there, with your web of deceit. She oh, asked yeah. me to DVR it. You I pinned it off it. and you felt she, you see, she was taking crazy heat from me <laughs> and you buckled. She, you know what's funny? After you said it, your next sentence was a little discombobulated <laughs> and your eyes lost track. Like you said, yeah, she came over and like Mike's chick DVR'd it and um, I, uh, crazy, <laughs> crazy. Uh, um, Jay, hold on. I go. And the show's she ca- good. She came over and DVR'd it and... <laughs> She's a, and terrible, I had, she's a uh, terrible person. I had Golden Grams last night. I go my and I weighed eight point five pounds when I was born. Liar, liar, liar. The Bolito. She actually asked me to DVR it though to clarify. Mm-hmm. And then I I put it in and then I was like, oh. And shit. you were like, I'm not sure how to DVR. And she goes, I'll show you. Give me that goddamn remote. Two she idiots. Hit me. She hit me. <laughs> she goes, these two. How can you? She farted one? in my box of Golden Grams and left. <laughs> you know what she did? She got Gary's ashes out of the lake that we scattered him in, put him in a bag, and flung them at me. <laughs> she sifted them. <laughs> she sifted them like a prospector. She goes, <laughs> uh, 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 that is Gary's. She hilarious. held up his fucking shark tooth necklace. Yeah. Oh, dude, that'd be awesome if I had a fucking piece of my dad's ash on a necklace. Oh, it'd be great. It's my dead dad. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Inside a little like... Um, pen it? Pen it, but the pen has to be like a margarita glass or something. Oh, or like a silver parrot. 
Yes. <laughs> it's inside a sore, but it's in his beak. <gasps> look at the beak. Look at the beak. Look at the beak. I go, that's my dad. <laughs> that's the big guy. He's having a cheeseburger in paradise. <laughs> He's getting after it. Play the rest of this, because now I just want to see all of his wardrobe that they show with his fucking tight tits. How people perceive that. Hey, what did Jesse do? Did he cheat? I feel like I need to so understand why. So you want to talk about your man and portraying him as a cheater? Absolutely once again, not. I'm not. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're license. right. The, the hand grab, I never noticed it. We'll tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM so you can see it on it's Twitter. It's a real fucking Spock grip on her. Hey, yeah, so we'll just say, yeah, it's like he's picking up a cat. <laughs> you know, he picks it up by the back of the skin. Bad kitty. Yuck. Don't make pee on couch. She goes, oh, yeah, we doing the naughty naughty at dinner like this? You dirty Dutchman. You gotta oh, give me Dutch. the Dutchman. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, the wind and the clogs. What are you doing? What are you? I want to watch you go to the bathroom. You're going to go on the social media. Social media. <laughs> <laughs> I ruin your business in your life. I never said that you were a cheater. Oh, come on. You play with I'm me, baby. I'm a personal trainer. For her to speak like that on social media platforms, I lose business because of that. Is to make me business make bad. <laughs> yes. When she say lies on screens of computer, it make me the business <laughs> money no goes. I'll do to understand where this hoor gets off. <laughs> where in the hoor are you from? <laughs> Who in the hool are Who here? in the hool is this her thinks she hears? Who's down in the hool? So much excuse if he's this. I worked quite to What to her with her hanging and her tits and her flip and her flap and her feet? You pork, 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 pork. And the pork, pork, pork. And it goes, and the pork in a tight t-shirt and the who to her. <laughs> flip with yeah, the flap, dude. Look at this guy. Sex pot. <laughs> Make D sure you shave my eggs. Yeah, dude, this guy uh, definitely sucks to hang out with. This guy's going to get fucking three more fucking girl loads from Christine this weekend. He's like, <laughs> he always wears torn t-shirts like that. Good. Yeah, Good. but he was a heartthrob. Oh, yeah. That's the reason. Jacob. That is the reason, Jacob. So well, the, I mean. He poses a lot. Yeah, don't you? <laughs> you don't pose that much? Have you ever posed for? I've mean, <laughs> never taken a picture out one hand on the wall, one hand in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Jay asks me to take a picture, I fold my arm behind my head. Yeah, so then we'll do it. He goes, like he goes, Burt Reynolds Playgirl. I go like this. Oh, what's up? I go, Jay, you gonna take a picture? What's up? Oh, man, goes, I wish you could think. I wish you could think a mustache to grow right now. I just kind of woke up next to you, being the man of your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just feel sexy over here. Morning. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, angels. <laughs> YouTube. It's just me cooking it in my boot. Good morning. <laughs> I'm going to jump in the chair. <laughs> Clean off my bones. Good, good morning. <laughs> hello, fans. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm just leaning down on my couch. <laughs> I'm gonna go make an ostrich oog sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's watch the end of this clip. Responsibility for her actions. Then this relationship has no future. You need to structure your 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 own life. And your uh, own my life is ways. structured, honey. No, if you talk like that, your life is not structured. What are you talking about? That was one rant. Let me just get the salmon and get out of here. Let me get the salmon and get out of here. The move. That is the move. Get, yeah, you get the salmon. Oh, here it comes. By the Give way, me my foosh. as someone that's watched this show, they're always fighting when food comes. Have you ever noticed that? Yes. Way? The, he has to apologize to the waiter every meal. Yes, they I'm always sorry. walk out. Always. I'm sorry about the screaming and the shooting. I'm sorry that my foot new girlfriend. Foot, my old foot. My fat neck girlfriend. <laughs> oh, my fat neck girlfriend. <laughs> it's wonderful. Bon appetit. Hey, bull <laughs> line, baby. All your mistakes. I Go on, you eat all of it, you pig. Eat, eat, eat with your snoot. <laughs> yeah, don't.
I'll make me no, no one. fork and knife. Stick your snout in it. <laughs> yeah, good. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> Go back a little bit because she's too fucking. She goes super Jersey. You this talk and talk, and all I hear is oinky, oinky, oinky. You are the prized pig from the farm. <laughs> I'm sorry, princess. I didn't see your blue ribbon. <laughs> you look at the ribbon. Now eat your food. <laughs> This is where she turns fucking angry. Cat faced lady gets angry. Would you guys like dessert? Oh, loot me, Oscar. Hey, Hooney. Suey. Yeah, he's... No, she won't be having any dessert. Let her roll in her filth. <laughs> Lying, baby. Own your mistakes. I am owning it. What do you want yes, me to say? Any mistakes? I apologize to you. But I never said that you cheated. Don't make me admit something that I didn't do. I'm not being incriminated against because you want me to say certain things that you're thinking in your head. Pause it. Is that the right way? Incriminated against? I don't know. That can't be right. I don't think half these sentences are right. But I, I don't want to shit on her until I figure out. <laughs> I'm the one being incriminated against. No, I think that's redundant. Because yeah, if words. you're incriminated, you're like you're incriminating me. It's already against you, yeah. Yeah. Are you accusing me of... Wait, how would you say this? I, how... Are you You're a- fight attacking me right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're mean batting me. You're yeah. being mean bad. <laughs> but maybe that's how he understands it. Maybe this is how he drills it home for his Dutch head. <laughs> that's right. You guys are river people. Go on, goo doot of here. I eat the semen. <laughs> I'm going to eat the semen. You should take a walk. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you for dessert after you're done jogging. You losing poons. <laughs> losing poons jogging. <laughs> Everyone thinks you're my mother. <laughs> my mother. <laughs> There's one Dutch person listening to this going, you guys are fucking assholes. Those, those aren't good impressions. <laughs> Hello. There's a truck driver going, is that how the Dutch sound? I hope this doesn't mean you won't suck my penis. Suck my dick. Suck my cook. I hope you're going to suck my cook later. <laughs> suck my cook. And that's when the whores come in. Oh, yeah. later. That's is always the really cool. Uh, I saw this episode. Is this the end of the clip? She just walks away. I'm not thinking that in my head, honey. Go. Look how hilarious it is watching her squeeze out of the booth. I will go to Amsterdam. That's at the hotel. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. He's such a prick. Damn. Next time wear panties, everybody can smell it. Hey, he smuggled ham into the restaurant. <laughs> I don't understand the show. That they're supposed to be getting married? Yeah, it's basically about these desperate people that meet people online, and then they're just trying to get married to them. There is a desperation. Who's desperate? The woman in that one. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, it's to stay in the country. He wants to yeah. stay, in he, country. stay in the country. It, most of the time, these people, it's, it should just be called, can I get a passport? Mm-hmm. Because all the people that are on 90 Day Fiance. It's a foreign guy and a, it's all, or like, and a dumb white woman. This season, this woman goes to uh, Nigeria to marry a guy, and, you're, and he's younger. Oh, right. and Jesus. She's, what, did her dad rape her? She's this giant white woman from uh, <laughs> she's, shit. from Georgia, and she's like, I love Michael. Michael's a sexy man. And he's like, I like her a lot. She's <laughs> I do not know. Like, dude, it's so, I just watched he the episode where they up my face. Yeah, where her mom serves her snails, and she's like, Michael, kiss me so I can put the food in your mouth. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, it's a real thing. And then there's uh, Ricky from Columbus, Ohio, who's in love with that girl in Columbia, and then yeah. she doesn't show, and then she shows. She's clearly a hooker. <laughs> Even I can see that. <laughs> yeah, Lou spotted that. He goes, oh, is that Olga? Wait a second. What, what a fool. Esta night to me, you cry, see the dollar bleed. Yeah, dude, it's... I My mean, family is still back in Colombia. I hope that does yeah, turn there it you is. off. Angela gives Trump t-shirt to Nigerian before proposing. Aw. So that's it. Doing he... Uh, I move it. Oh, oh, of course, I would love Donald Trump. Oh, if, yes, bring America back to great again. Yes, the wall. I will build, I will help build the wall. Um, it's all, it really does come down to a thing where I feel, it's like eating uh, a lot of sugar. You like watch that show and you're like, I feel gross after. <laughs> you just feel so gross because it's just like four people being really desperate, being like, there's that, that guy, Ricky, that goes to Columbia to meet up with the hooker. There's a, there's a part where he talks to his daughter and he's like, she might be your mom. And his daughter's like 10 years old and she's like, what? She's the only sane person on it. You're like, ah, oh, fuck. It's just sad, dude. You're watching. It's just, when is it on? Sunday nights. Okay. 8 p.m. TLC. I'm sorry. I'm glad you and your seven year fiance are able to watch it together. <laughs> I'm sorry I put seven years in with Mike J. Where were <laughs> you? Go. you? 
Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Looking off. Yeah. I don't know, Dan. Uh, I've been over here waiting the whole time. Well, how about you soak my boot? <laughs> how can you soak my boot and keep me in the country? The country? <laughs> oh, uh, let's take a break. Yeah, this is Ricky. Poor Ricky, dude. Is this the clip? She's coming. Ricky shirt's a little tight in the everywhere. Dude. Oh, <laughs> oh there she is. When she shows up, she's like, hey. Finally, she's coming. My heart is racing. And I'm sitting there really nervous. I'm like, hey, this is really happening right now. Fucking goddamn, the desperation. Hola, como estas? Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. She's smoking hot, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Black Lou, huh? No, not at all. You don't like her? Why? Too much brown in her. Yeah. You racist. <laughs> oh, yeah, just sit there and giggle weirdly. Hey, she has a witch face. Muy bien. Oh, Christ, now I gotta read. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that, that's a sentence you say as you put on reading glasses. <laughs> yeah. You go, uh, what the hell is this saying? Son of a bitch, I gotta read. Uh, okay. Oh, All God right. damn it. Yeah, let's take a break and we'll come back with uh, more Lost he, Tapes. Are we gonna have... Oh, yeah, buddy. When we come back, we're writing, producing, recording, and mastering... Pete Davidson punk song to compete with Ariana Grande's uh, Pete Davidson By the Bonfire. Song. It's Pete Davidson by the Bonfire. Oh, yeah, by Bonfire. It's a straight-up challenge. You spoke to them before the show, yeah, before yeah, it was Pete, happening. Pete FaceTimed me with Ariana Grande, and I was like, hey, we did your song. I told her how it, how it came about, and, she, and Pete was dying laughing, and she was laughing. She was like, that's awesome. She's a cool, sweet chick, man. She's very nice. And she, so hot. Very nice. It was just funny because they were like FaceTiming and lovey-dovey thing and I'm just eating a salad in the basement of this building. And I'm like, <laughs> hey. It's like, no, we're just waiting for the jet to pick us up on the balcony. Do you know that they could bring us in and out from LA? <laughs> <laughs> I go, I'm eating lettuce that was in a plastic container <laughs> that a man just manhandled. Got a helicopter in the movies. Oh, I'm... Yes. Yeah. Uh, straight, you know what? Seriously, though, he goes... Because he goes, what are you going to come over? I'm like, I'm in the city tomorrow. He goes, I'm playing NBA 2K with Lil Wayne from 2.30 to 3.30. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, cool. All right. Well, I think Shane Gillis is around tomorrow. Play some NCAA Xbox. <laughs> uh, she yeah. go over see the place. It's pretty crazy. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Little Petey. Write a fucking smash hit. Oh, buddy. Ariana Grande, watch out. Yeah, we're coming for your Pete Davidson hey, title. See, I'm picking out my tuxedo for next year's awards. Oh, what? I've already decided what I'm going to say at the Kids' Choice Award when I get slimed. VMAs, if we don't sing Pete Davidson, the punk song we're about to write in record time. Yeah. By the way, we're going to write it on air. We're thinking at the lyrics with... with we're in real time. This is why it's called The Lost Tapes. That's right, everybody. So, uh, we'll be right back. It's The Lost Tapes. It's... The bomb. About to be on some HGH, too. <laughs> and now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Straight ball. Hell, I'll say it right now. It's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio Series XM 95. Pump I'm Dan Soder. Here. That's Big J Okerson. This is The Lost Tapes. And, yeah, my new favorite character is Jealous J. <laughs> I really do love it. Oh, yeah. They were saying on the camp the website group. Yeah. Jealous J is a great character. We love Jealous J. Yeah. Uh, Cool. So I go, it is a great character. And someone goes, is it a character? And then I say to you, is it? <laughs> Let's go deeper down the rabbit hole. <laughs> you go like this. Maybe it is. You should just spend a lot of time with other dudes. It doesn't matter. No, it's cool, man. Listen, I know you don't like me coming here smelling like Shane or Becky. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you get that gillis all right, over you. You coming in here. Shake it off, dog. You coming in here Shake smelling like Nate Bargetsy. <laughs> you got that Bargetsy funk on you. Uh, we had a fucking great time at the Village Underground. That was a fun show, dude. That was a great show. Yeah, you murdered. You <laughs> murdered. Oh, God damn. I don't stick around for shows. Cause, you you know, fucking killed him, man. Everyone killed comics. him on the show. You did great What thing. a fucking fun to watch Gary. lineup. I haven't watched Gary Goldman in a while. Dude, it was Marina. It was Joe List and Michelle Wolf hosting. Marina Franklin, great. Uh, I had fun. Gary Goldman. And then you. Yeah. No, it was a fun show, fucking man. hell of a show. Uh, for charity. Michelle and Joe List were doing the worst intros. Worst intros I've ever seen on a comedy show. Ever. Yeah. Uh, worst it, intros it, I've in, ever seen. In my intro, at one point, they were. I was told they were... Uh, Michelle was in fear of me, actually. Yes. <laughs> she goes, your next comic, I'm kind of scared of. Not that he's going to, like, me to me. More that, like, he'll just say the things that make me cry. 
<laughs> but he goes, but he doesn't. He's great. That's how nice of a guy he is. <laughs> That's how, like, Michelle, you're like, wait, what? You said that you just pulled it back slightly? <laughs> That's how good of a guy he is. Um, um, so before the break, we talked about... Um, I FaceTimed with Pete Davidson and Ari. By the way, this is why I'll say I, I, I like Ariana Grande is when I was like, because Pete's like, what are you doing? I go, I'm going up to do the bonfire. That's how the whole conversation got started. And I said that and Ariana Grande goes, Ariana Grande. And you're like, I mean, this is fucking weird. It's weird <laughs> that you heard our joke about it because you know, we said it to Pete. But then uh, last week, we played the song that she wrote on her album uh, on Sweetener. Uh, called Pete Davidson. And there's no way you can't laugh at that if you're a comic, especially a friend of Pete Davidson. If you've known him since he was 15 years old, <laughs> as most of us have, you just kind of am like, this is hilarious. As I said That's on the, the show. The biggest entertainer in the world. Yeah. Arguably the biggest. If my if Britney Spears in 1999 would have wrote a song about Garapé, <laughs> <laughs> it would have been fucking weird. It would have been weird. And it would have been like... Get your fart box out. <laughs> boom, down, boom, down, down, down. Garapay, gotta <laughs> shave my legs. Bow, bow. Garapay's coming. Eighty-six Honda Accord hatchback. Garapay, <laughs> But anyways, we brought up the song, and I said it's a minute forty-five. And Jay goes, "How long did you want it to be?" And I brought up the point. I was like, "I didn't know it was a punk song," which turned us into doing a punk song called Pete Davidson. We got the hook. And I think we all know from the, the the hook. Now we've just brought in an actual musician. Yes, is that right, Lou? Yes, this is Ryan Havers. He works here. Hi, Ryan. Come, Come on, on up to the down, mic. Buddy. Right. Take a seat, real quick. He is uh, Ryan. How are you? Professional guitarist and uh, Sirius XM employee. Are you a punk rock musician? Uh, I'm more of a like a. Yeah. Well, you could do three. Yeah. You, could, you could do power chords, right? If we just yeah. I f- mean, I'm a I'm a rock and roll musician, like rock and roll. Okay, no, yeah. that's good. Well, I was um, gonna say because punk rock. I'm gonna. I feel terrible if we just trivialize your art form to show you that. No, no, no. Two no. morons can write a song as good as any <laughs> punk rock song. Yeah, I'm a moments. moron too. I'm good. So, I'm, I'm, we'll, I'm you, but then you you could fart on a canvas to make a Pollock. <laughs> from being, I mean, let's be honest. Jackson, totally truthful. Jackson Pollock, not. <laughs> didn't have one ounce of talent. <laughs> Did you say something like that? You go, Picasso sucked. It's all blocks. I don't see the big deal. You guys Get suck. It already. We're geniuses. Suck our butts. So Suck our kooks. <laughs> Suck our kooks. <laughs> but the uh, the song, the hook that we had. Play, 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 the, play, the, play the actual, the original. This is the original. Or, uh, this, this is what we're battling against. Okay. Yeah. I thought you into my life. What? Look at my mind. Yes. No better place or time. Yes. How they align. Universe must have my back. Up from the sky into my life. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the day he broke her arms. Popped her arms on a socket. <laughs> wow, that could have been very bad. I know you know that you my soulmate and all that. I'm like, So that's what we're going against, right? Mm-hmm. Our take is more of this, and I, I think uh, from an outside perspective, the chorus is uh, we want to do classic early eight, late seventies, early eighties punk slam quick. I believe we've agreed that the chorus is Pete Davidson. Wait, wait, Pete- let's, let's set it up right so we can do it there. <clears throat> I love Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Like this is right the process. Down. I think we have to do two rotations. You do two full rotations of Pete Davidson. And then it's the I love Pete Davidson. I like that too. That's uh, the hook. What do you think? You're a co-writer on this now. You're Pete fine. Davidson, Pete Davidson. Everybody loves Pete Davidson. I got a riff Pete for Davidson. you already. All right. So yeah. You got a riff already? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Does it go something to the tune of Pete Davidson, Pete Davidson, everybody loves Pete Davidson? Well, it's it's the bass line of that, but with like, you know, distortion yeah. over, what? The, over what you're doing. So it's like a fucking remix. Yeah. Is Pete Diddy going to be upset about this? Because he invented the <laughs> remix. I'm not giving him money. I do believe I'm contractually still <laughs> obligated I think it'll be different to enough. Him. It'll be different it'll enough. Be, uh, it'll be different enough. Well, I mean, we want a real punk, you know, like, all right, all right, all right, all right. But you that, yeah, yeah, yeah. are the stand up in my heart, Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Now, yeah, what, I'm, yeah. what I'm picturing here is a uh, that's the big hook, yeah, the Pete Davidson. Yes, of course. And then it goes to like a low kind of like dum 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 dum, and that's the I love Pete Davidson standing, in the night, standing alone, Pete. taking my heart, <laughs> making me laugh, fan, making me love Pete Davidson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like but that. if you have like a it's like just something Pete Davidson, da, da, da. Something Pete Davidson, da, da, da. 
And two more lines like that, and back into paint time. Yeah, time. paint time. Paint time. Is this piece of songwriting? We got this. I mean, I think we got. We got. It. It. I feel like we, we cut a it. whole punk album and just brush you off. We got to think of basically as a course of, like a uh, dumped on Pete Davidson. Da da da. A uh, dumped on Pete Davidson. Are you saying this way? This isn't the chorus. This is the verses. The verses. Yeah, I was four four sentences. And you're saying something before Pete Davidson, then the sentence? Well, it's a bit just for arguments, they will keep it as the chorus. Like, I love Pete Davidson, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I, I love, love Pete. Pete Davidson. I think we just cut it to Pete. In the mall. Dude, oh, I love Dr. Pete. Seuss in a hall. I love Pete when he's on stage. I love Pete when he's... Yeah, you don't when think he's on stage. Pete. Yes. What's that? But yeah, if it's something that rhyme with stage yeah. the second time. I mean, we can do this, dude. We can really do we this. We got this. Yeah, we're fucking we're geniuses. We're yeah. geni- we're I love geniuses. Pete Davidson in the mall. I love I, Pete I, I Davidson because he's tall. I what about, Pete. but you don't think cutting the Davidson and just keeping Pete? I love Pete when he's it. I love Pete. Le, le, le. I love Pete. Le, le, le. Oh, I love Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Got it. What? Yes, Jacob. Can I? Can I yeah. work in a ninety day fiance line? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> You're no ninety day fiance. I love you till my dying day, Pete Davidson. Pete, Pete Davidson. Okay. Now here's the thing I'm worried about. It's complex. I'm worried about TLC getting involved. (laughs) Because when this thing tops the charts, which it inevitably will. Another question for producer Lou over there. Do we have generic like punk drums we could play behind this? Uh, I could... I'd have to have somebody track them, yeah. But can we just see if Christine can find right now on YouTube basic drums? Public, gonna, Ryan, is that possible to do? I think public yeah, domain. Yeah, you could find you could find some yeah some sort of like four, four free samples. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. You, you find could, something. I don't think we should do that now as we're writing. I think we should keep it simple. No. All right. You can go See way. the magic. If it's, if it's, the magic on those tapes <laughs> belongs to me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, those are your tapes. But we need to take the song, give it to Ariana Grande, so she can give us the money. <laughs> so I'm rolling on the through. rehearsal. Okay. Here we go. What does it sound like? Davis Pete, boy, oh, love him. I oh, love him. He's cute and oh, funny. Wait. That's more. The that's fast, it. The fast, the, the That's what time. we want. The double time. Oi, 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 oi. Watching on stage. He is loving. I oh, love him on stage. He is my man. <laughs> yeah. Pete so the Davis like, Pete Pete Davis Everybody loves Pete Davis I just want to do that. That's the one I want to do. Yeah. I love Pete Davis And then the last one, it pauses a while. You go, oh. Pete Davidson, Pete Davidson. I mean, we have talented vocalists and a talented guitarist in the room right now. Maybe I agree. Oh, you, no, you the, might be right. Maybe we should just guitar. stick with guitar and sure. vocals for yeah, now. We could add yeah. them in later in post, baby. Who's gonna argue? Yeah. Listen, man, I mean, mean, sure. I'll just give you the address to back up the truckload of money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jacob. Oh. Jacob is a drummer. Are you? I would drum it afterward if you want. I mean, Fuck yeah, we do. Uh, Get Patat on the track? Are you kidding me? Shit, I'll do the drums to this. I'll play fucking guitar. Now we Teach got a band. Me. How close are we so, to so. getting a guitar in your hands, Ryan? Chris, can I? Do you think I can fire it up? Try it. All of our ears Two bleed. <laughs> well, then I'll come up and whatever. So wait, the for the lyrics you're right? thinking, mm-hmm. I think we each just have one little verse. Each we each have a verse. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Or do you want to play a rhyming game right now together? Yeah. Where I'll feed you a line and what you yeah. say back next. Yeah. So I mean, this is this is like an improv game right here. Let's do it. I'm gonna go. I love Pete Davidson in the night. I love Pete Davidson when he fights. Yeah, that's good. exactly. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I feel real good about it. <laughs> I love Pete Davidson in New York. I love Pete Davidson. Oh, that's. In a spork. <laughs> it was a spork. I had, when I was uh, just dicking this around in my head earlier, I yeah. said, I, I love Pete Davidson in the night. I love Pete Davidson because I'm not tight. He's very big, so I'm told. Even uh, it hangs heavy even when it's cold. Pete Ooh. Davidson. That's Pete pretty good. Davidson. It's pretty good. Yeah. I was going to be, I love Pete Davidson. On his stage, I love Pete Davidson. Fills me with rage. I love Pete Davidson. So fools the sage. Oh, I love Pete it'd be Davidson. Four, it'd be four lines in that, though. Oh, then there's a fourth one? He's got the two things that rhyme. I love Pete Davidson. Something, something. I love Pete Davidson. Something rhymes with that. Then two more. 
because you have to have the uh, the setup rhyme, yeah. then the following rhyme, okay, and then back into the chorus. Yeah. Listen, we're about to do this, buddy. We're nailing this. We're cooking this. Ooh. Oh, let me take this thing for a walk. Hang on, Dan. Yeah, this thing's tuned up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah, this is a little Dude, thing. I was, I was, God, just, I was just noodling around with this earlier. Yep. Is Ryan cool with you playing his guitar like well, that? Yeah, yeah Ryan. So I'm just going to play this for one second here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I, yeah. You, you got it. All right, no. If you're going to get angry, here, take it back. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. This guy's serious about his guitar. That was good. That was good. Yow, Ryan. Hey. Jeez, I was just oh, touching wait, it. I didn't put it. Let me pick it up. Oh. Yeah, Dan, you gra Dan, grab it for a second. Yeah, let me just uh, let me see. You're not really a music guy, though. Well, I mean, let me just see if it's it's on, oh. right? Is it not on? We got this bad boy on. It was on. Oh, Dan blew the amp. <laughs> oh no, no. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I think I can hear it clicking. Yeah, let me just. There you go. There you go. Let me just noodle around real wanna, quick. Wanna noodle around? Yeah, I'm just yeah, gonna let him play around for a little bit. Let me, just, let me see what the neck does. Quick. Yeah, that, you know that, right? Yeah, it's pretty rudimentary, Dan. Uh, me? Yeah, I'm like, I'm well, let me really open I mean, up. You heard what let I was me, doing. Let me really open up and just. I didn't see called, that. This is called Danny. Sodes. I didn't see that coming. Let me do that. Let me do that again. This is called Danny Sodes. Dude, for a second you look like Kirk Hammett. Thanks, dude. <laughs> you want a kiss? So bad. <laughs> well, you can't, jealous Jared. <laughs> can't have a kiss. <laughs> Cheek. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna rip this shit. Can you just go over your verse with me real quick? Mm-hmm. I love Pete Davidson in the night. Okay. I love Pete Davidson because I'm not tight. Got it. I heard, he, I hear he's big, so I'm told. Mm -hmm. Or he's very big, so I'm told. Uh, it hangs really big even when it's cold. Yeah. Pete um, Davidson. So and then I go back, Pete Davidson. I like what we're saying here. Give me the chorus again. One, two, three, Pete Davidson, Pete Davidson. Everybody loves Pete Davidson, Pete Davidson, Pete Davidson. Everybody loves Pete Davidson, and I love Pete Davidson. Yeah, this is going to be a smash. <laughs> Uh, I love him on stage. I love Pete in a rage. He is funny with his faces. You'd have to get me off with a can of maces. Oh, I love. No, it's, it's uh, it would just be Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Oh yeah, it's something Pete Davidson. I kind of liked I love Pete Davidson better instead of Pete oh, Davidson. Do. Everybody loves Pete Davidson. I liked when we had it. Uh, oh, I love Pete Davidson. Oh, that's what it is. It we starts say with it, I love. It says everybody, everybody, and then I love Pete Davidson. Okay. The magic on those tapes? <laughs> Dude, it belongs to us. Are we going to Post Malone it, too? We are Post Maloneing it. <laughs> we're totally Post Maloneing it. <laughs> I mean, we're all set up, right? So we can fucking do this. I like where the, your head's at, Ryan. Immediately jumping in. So, wait, do you have the do you have the verses now we're going to do for the actual verses? So after yeah, the I you, love you, Pete Davidson, I'll do, when we do the first verse, your yeah. first verse, and so come out. I love Pete, Pete Davidson. Davidson. Pete. And he goes, I love Pete Davidson in the night. I love Pete Davidson. So you do 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 do. Yeah. Uh. A little more muted, a little muffled, maybe. Yes. Exactly what I'm talking about. I love Pete on stage. I love Pete in a rage. He's got Crohn's and I call him my own. I'll get it back there. I'll get it. It's coming. <laughs> Something with Crohn's. I'm coming wait, with wait, some Crohn's. Wait, wait, wait. Love Pete Davidson in with his Crohn's. I love Pete. Call him my own. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be awesome. Oh, uh, so right after we do the I love Pete, Pete Davidson. Mm hmm. I start my verse. You go first. Your verse is first. My verse is second. So it'll be, I love Pete Davidson. And we'll do three and choruses. And start the... Dun, dun. Are you starting with the chorus? We're going to start yeah. with the chorus. Jay's verse. Chorus. My verse. Final chorus. Bring it on home. Okay. Watch out. Minute 45. We can do Watch this. Watch out, pop sensation Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande, you better put those cat ears on and get some reflexes. I got to get this microphone up. Yeah, you do. Just yeah, hit the cough, Jay. You when you're doing that, just... You just hit that cough button. Sorry. It's all good. Listen, dude, we're about to make a hit. It's fine. They probably took the time to teach you the studio. They didn't really work with me like that. Yeah, cool. Seven years, dog. Seven years no. of putting in work. <laughs> seven, seven Just years a lot of people work. were 
I was just drilling. A lot of people probably helped you. And then <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you I just sort of hurt everyone's ears. Just throw me in a room no, it's cool. There's probably a truck so you figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, time is money, guys. All right. You know what, Lou? I don't need you being a fucking... <laughs> I didn't realize you were paying our session musician. Hey, Robert oh, yeah. Blake, could you please back off? Not Robert Blake. Uh, who's the guy with the crazy hair? Phil oh, Spector. Phil Spector. Spector. Robert only, Blake was those, those two killed. They both killed someone around the same time. All right? the sound, the scumbags. Pay, let's go. The only payment I I ask is yeah. if I could uh, just plug a show. Please. Well, yeah, plug your show plug right it now. now. What do you want to plug? Um, I gotta look it up because I don't remember the exact date. It's all right. <laughs> you come back in. Yeah, Sick. hell yeah, dude. That's how rock and roll Ryan is. I don't even fucking. He's know. like, I don't know. I got a date. It's just the fucking when the heroin bunch wears of money. Off, where's the bus? Hey, a bunch of money and women just begging for it. Women and money beg me at the same time. Ah, uh, we just gonna fire this thing out. Ha! Am I on? Am I on? Ha, ha, let me Am I on? Ha, Am I on? Ha, ha. All right, I'm warmed up. Ha, can we get this? Can we get the? Can we get the? Let's get the guitar pretty loud. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Oi, oi, hello. We are the bonfire, and this is a song for a man that we both love, Mister Pete. Davidson. One, two, three. Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Everybody loves Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Everybody loves Pete Davidson. And I love Pete Davidson. I love Pete Davidson in the night I love Pete Davidson cause I'm not tight I hear he's big, that's what I'm told His dick hangs heavy even when it's cold Pete Davidson, Pete Davidson Everybody loves Pete Davidson Pete Davidson, Pete Davidson Everybody loves Pete Davidson And I love Pete Davidson I love Pete on the stage. I love Pete. It fills me with rage. I love him when he's got his crowns. I love Pete because he's my own. Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Everybody loves Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Everybody loves Pete Davidson. And I love Pete Davidson. We love Pete. I wanna go uppy uppy! Well, rock Fuck the there. Queen! There it is. I think we got a hit on our hands, fellas. <sighs> One take. That's I'll it. be honest. We're not gonna get any better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh. It was, uh. I feel like I left my body. <laughs> I became rancid for a minute. I don't know if you guys saw this, but I really feel like I was Sid Vicious there for a second. Oh, Ryan, let me feel real quick, just because I don't want Dan to walk out of here thinking he's the shit. Let me see that guitar for one second. Let me just see if I can wail this right here real quick. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I was funnier than I was good, so yeah, I just no, figured, here you go, Ryan. Thank oh, you. Uh, hey, Ryan, hold on. I, uh, before, before, you, before you put that on, just <laughs> let me see it real quick. Let me just uh, let me do a little walking real quick. Just to, Lou, this was the chord I was telling you about, Lou. It's right here. Play it. Right there, see, you gotta kind of, uh, you gotta lean into it. I think it's called a hack minor. What? I am uh, nothing. No, I'm just saying. I, I've that? heard it before. Just give Ryan back his thing. It's his instrument. Well, he doesn't yeah, want your hands of, on it for years. <laughs> for years. You know, I, I used to fill my uh, calluses with <laughs> resin, with glue, and then just keep playing. But I guess you know you don't care about that. Hey, take your guitar back, Ryan. I don't know. Cool. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, what do you think? Do we run it one more time? Uh, they would hate it if we run it one more time without producing it more. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. So so let's just can we can we take what we did and then edit? Yeah, we put drums on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I can just say the the second verse. I think you came came in a little bit too quick, and I was behind you. I tried to. Get yeah, it I up. suck. No, no, I have no, no I, musical I'm just talent. Saying, you might just have to line that up a little bit. No, it was fu- it, no, it was I, it was good. <laughs> we, no, we did great. Can we Pro Tools it? No, it's a single track. Oh, it's God, a single track. Damn. We don't need to Pro Tools it, man. It was perfect. It's perfect. Can't you tell me, yeah? Is that what you think? Fucking <laughs> suck. You think Social Distortion Pro Tools it, dude? I fucking suck. No, they <laughs> feel Are we the playing again? Huh? What, do you want to play it again? What? Take it from your verse. <laughs> you used to make Dan redo it? That doesn't seem nice. Come on, dude. I mean, I did I nail mine? Sure. But I've been thinking about it longer. I would. I put more, I, but that's not your fault. Do you think you love Pete more than I do? I think it reads that way. 
Although, you Jacob, know. Jacob, I'm going to need you to shut the fuck up for a second. Oh, please say? No, it's fine. No, what the fuck? No, I, I don't think that's true at all, actually. He what? FaceTimed me before the show, right? Yeah. Let me check if I have any missed FaceTimes from Pete here. <laughs> I, uh, oof, no, seem to miss it. Probably, I only seem to get pretty excited about the bonfire. Jay, you go like this. You go, I was underground. Oh, you go, I was it under- hurts. Jay, you, Jay, you go, I was underground on the train. I go, you, you took a cab here. You go, yeah, that's, I think they got bad reception in Ubers. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know it's actually where I was at in the city. He's not going to pick up FaceTime. I was like right in midtown. Sure. Like oh, they call it, Yeah, you, they said this to me sometimes. If they won't get a hold of me, they'll give you a ring. Yeah, uh, I uh, always call me, and then it's your turn. Ryan, you are an amazing guitarist. Thank yeah, you so right. Much. Do you know the which show help. show you want to plug? Um, While you're, getting- I'll plug the band. I'll plug the band. So I'm in this band called the Night Times. We're like a heavy psych rock, Hell Queens yeah. of the Stone Age type band. Yeah, big deal. Um, That's my favorite band of all time. And uh, you it's guys. like that. It's like that, but. Also, like fuzzy '60s garage. Okay, at times I'm fine with like, that. Just uh, probably Queens of Stone Age more. Not really much Marilyn Manson. No, Good to meet not, you, Ryan. Not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Everlast was on the show yesterday. You know how close we've gotten to Queens of the Stone Age? Is, Is Everlast Ryan? my thing? Go check out the Night Times uh, right now. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, Marilyn, do you want to? Are you feeling all right from the sunstroke? Uh, he's back, baby. Is he back? Same. <laughs> oh, he's all back. I wonder if he's gonna. What it, could he get back to fighting shape, Marilyn Manson? No, no, you don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's a wrap. You think it's? Uh, a wrap? I'm sorry. You have to do more than just yell at me, Manson. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, a heartbreaking wrap. Oh, is this? Is that the show? Yeah, pretty much. Fuck, buddy. dude. Are you on the road this week? Where are you at this week? I am. I oh, am. Yeah. Uh, Tonight. Oh, yeah, starting. you're in Rhode Island. Rhode Providence. Island. Comedy Connection. In East fact, Providence, Rhode Island. Fucking great shows. Tonight. Right now the show is starting. Yeah, one show tonight, and then two Friday and Saturday. Go to BigJComedy.com and get tickets. Also, if Dan you're going to be out in LI. Yeah, what's up? Dan's oh, yeah. going to be out in Long Island at the broker. But what I was going to say for you is if you're in the Providence area or you're in the New England area, Big J, Lewis, and Dave are coming for Legion of Skanks at Laugh Boston, September 8th. That's uh, a week from that's yeah, that's next a little Saturday. more than a week. Um, they're going to be doing tapings at 4 p.m. and 11:30 p.m. If you go to bigjcomedy.com, you can get tickets for both Legion of Skanks and also uh, his tickets at the Comedy Connection in Rhode Island all this weekend. Hell so yeah! Go, and Dan's going to be in LI, the brokerage, this weekend, uh, Friday and Saturday only. So make sure you get your tickets. After that, he's going to be at the Vault at Valley Forge Casino in Pennsylvania, September 7th. So for tickets and all their tour dates, visit dansoder.com. And uh, we love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the Lost Tapes Yo, and the evolution of... Just had a text from Pete Davidson right on my phone that said, please send me that song. Did anybody film us doing it at least? I'm we dying laughing. Video? Oh, yeah. Everybody. Oh, all right. Well, we got to go. Tom will he send you something in a minute. He so hard he broke his heel stomping. He broke True his story. heel stomping. Uh, Ryan, thank you so much for playing guitar for us. Ryan, you fucking rule. Go listen to the Night Times. Band if you want, right now. Dan will teach you that lick he was doing before. Yeah. If you want after the show. I know Jay did like kind of like a little fucking guitar, like restaurant guitar riff. Oh my God, that hurts the most. I'm sorry. You dude. know I'm a restaurant guitarist. I know. You're just, you kill it at a steakhouse. <laughs> um, and then, of course, follow us at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I love you, Jay. I love, I love the you. staff. I love you, campers. Mm. I love everybody. I'm on uh, Molly. Ciao, baby. <laughs> Ciao, baby. Have a good weekend. Holiday weekend. We'll be back Tuesday. Everyone have a good Labor Day. Mwah. Ciao, baby. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. I'm just going to lay it down, Jacob. You're a prima donna. Check, check, check. Hey, campers. This is DJ Lou. Uh, dead rat. <laughs> Should I do it? You want to do it? I, I think the people like you more. Hey, campers. This is Jacob. We thought we'd give you a lost tape on the lost tapes. This is Bert Kreischer. Before yesterday's show, he finds a guitar in the studio right before Everlast comes in. Stepfather was a bodybuilder, but he wasn't gay. He's from Philippe. Whatever happened to guys like me? <laughs> okay, what are the chords to tell me what the chords to jump around are, and I'm gonna learn how to play it. I'm gonna learn how to play it before he gets in here and do it in front of him. That's great. What are the fucking chords? <laughs> <laughs> chords, Lou! First song I ever learned, ready? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Open G. Open G? Wait. Keep 
that open, motherfucker. And I'm gonna be. Back to Jesus. Jump around, jump around, jump around. Hey, can I back you up? Okay. Can I back you up? I go like this. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> 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 Woo! 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 Get you. I'm coming to get you. Kicking out lyrics, homie. I'm with you. I came to get the helm. Dude, I think we got it. I think we got it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we tell Everlast that I'm a legit guitarist? Yeah. And have him sing to that? Yeah. Jump on, get down. Jump on. Jump on. Jump on. Jump on. Jump. 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 Let's <laughs> freak him out. Let's freak him out in the first five minutes. Can we play him into that? <laughs> pack it up, pack it in. Let me begin. You know I gave the win battle me. I need to come in late with the woes. <laughs> so we're like, oh, first guy's not playing, and then I gotta go. <laughs> 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 Give me another one of his songs. <laughs> we got 30 seconds. <laughs> Till the show starts? Yep. Oh, fuck me. Get your boots. Fuck, I'm not fucking ready. <laughs> Smash the guitar. Oh, man, that's everything.